is it, Elizabeth? The circus is coming to town! The circus? The circus? Yes, isn't that exciting? Oh yeah, I've never been to a circus before. <gasps> then we should go. Why don't the three of us go? Hmm. You know, a circus wouldn't be a bad thing to report on. Everybody loves the circus. Hey, you know what? Why not? Let's go. Ah, <sighs> would you just smell that popcorn? I know it smells amazing. Hey, uh, so where do we sit? I guess anywhere we like. Oh, okay then. Well, let's pick a seat then. Come on, Kit. Does the circus come to town? So that makes us question, why doesn't the circus come to town every day? Kit, who are you talking to? Every reporter has that voice. So I'm recording myself in black and white to see how cool I sound as a reporter. And believe me, it's working. Ladies and the gentlemen, welcome to the circus. Now, let us begin the first act, the magician. Thank you, thank you everyone. I am the illusionist, Rebecca. Today, I am going to pick someone from the audience to perform my first trick. How exciting, I wonder who it could be. I had a magician stay at my house once. I know exactly how this works. He's just gonna pick someone that looks like they're from the audience, but they're actually his real assistant. How about you over there, Blondie? Say what? Oh, not you, not you. The, the one, the one, the one next to you, the, the, the British one. What? By Jew? Is he re are she really serious? Me? Of all people? Why? This is so exciting! Why, hello, I'm Elizabeth. Ah, uh, yes, hello, Elizabeth. My name is Rebecca, and today I have this amazing magic trick to show you. Really? What is it? I am going to read your mind, and I will pull out what you're thinking about. Oh, wow, this is so exciting! How do we start? First, just close your eyes and think of anything. All right, relax. Now, my favorite animal is... Now open your eyes. Huh? There appears to be something in my pocket. Let me get it. Is this your favorite animal? Oh my gosh! Wow! That's amazing! How did you do that? A magician never reveals her secrets. Wow! That's amazing! Wow! Did you see how amazing that was? I know, that was crazy. Next act is our lion tamer. But unfortunately, our beloved lion Joanna, who has been with us for 15 years, has gotten too old. But you can see her at the zoo, so that's, that's pretty cool. So here is our new act, Beauty and the Beast. Well, Beast, let's show everyone here a thing or two on how amazing being a lion tamer is. I'm going to call someone from the audience. Wouldn't that be crazy if it was you over there? Oh my gosh, it's me! It's me! It's me! Just like on a TV show! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Amazing, right? Yeah, it actually is really amazing. Now, dear, why don't you relax? And I am going to have Beast over here walk over you. What? Are you serious? Yes. Just relax now. Beast won't hurt you. We have folks, she is safe and sound. Oh, I think I'm gonna faint. You know what, guys? This circus was amazing, I know. You know what, those clowns were so funny. I know, normally I'm terrified of them, but they're so funny, I know. Mm. Guys, I'm gonna join the circus. You can't be serious. No guys, this is it. After years of being a rep of wanting to be a reporter, since, since I first read the newspaper, I am going to join the circus. It's gonna be so cool, man. It's just gonna be so, so cool. I'm gonna grow a beard, I'm gonna eat fire, I'm gonna tame lions, actual lions, I'm gonna do magic. It's gonna be so cool. You'll, you'll see, I'll be a way better circus performer than a lion tamer, I promise you. 
Wow. Well, then you have to bring us to the training. We want to see what the circus people do. So you would like to join the circus? Yes, yes. It's been my dream for the past 24 hours. It's a pretty long dream around here. All right, we will start your training. So, what do you want to do most at the circus? All. I want to grow a beard. I want to eat, breathe, breathe and eat fire. I want to. I want to tame lions. I want to juggle. I want to do magic stuff. I want to. I want to do the tie ropes. I want to do it all. I want to do it all. Well, we'll see what you can do at the circus. So let us get you started. Right. Do you have at least a little experience in magic? Well, I can make a salt shaker disappear from a table. And a little experience like that is enough experience here at the circus. So, with those uh, methods that you probably used to make the salt shaker disappear, we'll try with some basic magic tricks. Can't believe Kit's joining the circus. This is this is mad, but at the same time, it's really cool. Imagine having a friend that 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 joined the circus. Oh, right. Hey, do you think she can teach us how to walk a tightrope? I hope so, that would be lovely. Yeah, it would. You got it down? Oh yeah, I got it down all right. You know, tomorrow we'll be heading for Vegas. Do you think you can try the magic there? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. Oh, Las Vegas? The, uh, there? You're going there? I we head out tomorrow. Today we're going to see if she has what it takes. Well, she's Kid Carriage. I'm pretty sure she has what it takes. Well, who do I learn to tame lions from? You could learn from the original lion tamer. You're the original lion, lion tamer? Yes, now I clean up the lion poop, so... I can't believe she's going to learn how to tame a lion. Oh, that's so deadly, but so cool. Right? That's got to be the scariest but coolest job ever. I know. Do you think you could do that? Yeah, I can do that. Good. Let's see here for the circus. Hmm, you learn the magic. You slightly know how to tame a lion. You fell off the tightrope like a good ten times. Let us see if you can juggle. By the way, do you know a good joke? Yeah, I do. What is the joke then? Why was April so tired? Don't know. Because she had just finished a long march. Get it? March? That's that's not funny. Where do you learn this? Internet. Cool. As you could see, I am juggling and I am very good at it. So we're going to try and see if you can juggle now. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me with your fruit. Ow! Right, Kit, not everyone knows how to juggle. Yeah, juggling's just like something some people can do. Kind of like that thing where people can curl their tongue up to look like a U or a clover or something. I wonder if Kit got hired. That would be so cool, don't you think? I know, having a friend who works at the circus. Do you think we could get free popcorn? I'm not sure, but that would be really cool. Well, hi guys. Oh, hello, Kit. So you're in the circus? Um, yeah, but I don't think I'll be in the circus anymore. What? Why not? You went to all this trouble just to join the circus. Because the circus is a bunch of thieves. Joe, what are you... <gasps> Chimney Cricket! My ring is missing! And <gasps> my earrings are gone! That's my poker shell necklace! Uh, I, I knew something was wrong when I got up today. As a reporter... And also, I had some trouble with circus people before. I was suspicious of this one, so I recorded down what they were doing. And that's when I noticed something. As the magician shook your hand, Elizabeth, she took your ring and played off the rest of the magic trick to try and distract you from the fact that your ring and earrings were missing. With you, Kanani, while you were lying on the floor with your eyes closed, the the leopard decided to take your earrings, which was actually supposed to be part of their heinous crime, to steal everybody's jewelry and make a bunch of money. That's not being a reporter. If anything, it's more like being a detective. A reporter has to have great people skills. 
And one of the things that a reporter needs to do is be able to make people feel comfortable so you can interview them. I was able to make everybody feel comfortable and talk to me and tell me that they were actually stealing all this stuff and to teach me how to do it so that way I could call the cops and, you know, tell them how they're doing it. So, my reporter ability saved the day. So you lied about wanting to join the circus? Wow, I didn't think you were the lying type, kid. No, I'm really not, but, um, well, thank you, kid. I don't know what I would do if I... If I lost my family ring for good, I don't know what I'd do if I lost my necklace. This necklace is so important to me. Well, you're welcome, guys.